We're going to give the teachers the tools they need to be better math teachers than what they have right now. Well, Speaker, if they have been raped or bullied, math won't matter very much to them, will it? That was a heated exchange between Andrea Horvath and Premier Doug Ford today in Queen's Park. And just minutes later, hundreds of elementary teachers took to the streets and the lawn here outside of Queen's Park protesting the sex ed curriculum that they're being mandated to teach. But they came here with a promise. They'll teach what they believe their students need to learn, regardless of the consequences. I am following a curriculum that our government has produced, so um, it just, I don't want to go back to a curriculum that A, I don't have the document for, but B, doesn't really reflect the needs of my students. Corey's campaigned on a promise to eliminate the controversial sex ed curriculum introduced in 2015, one that deals with cyberbullying, consent and gender identities, amongst other things. Since being elected, the government has now ordered teachers to revert to the previous curriculum, one that was last updated in 1998. And many teachers are now saying they refuse and the union is backing them. Our position is, quite frankly, that we need to be on the right side of history on this one. We need to stand up for students now, their safety and their well-being. Uh, that curriculum 1998 document obviously is 20 years out of date. It does not deal with any of the realities uh, for students in 2018. And while hundreds of teachers are vowing to essentially disregard the government's return to the previous curriculum, the education minister believes they will ultimately teach what they are told. My message is loud and clear. We expect teachers to be utilizing the curriculum last used in 2014, and I know that they'll be comfortable with it. Now, teachers that don't follow the curriculum could face discipline, but ultimately that will be up to their principals or their respective boards. Now, today at the rally, we learned that the Canadian Civil Liberties Association is planning on filing an injunction against the government's directive to return to this old previous curriculum. And that could ultimately delay the return or even halt it.